Let me let me move on to uh, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg and Prosecutor My Matthew Colangelo. <laughs> they are set to testify, of course, before the House Judiciary Committee, your committee, on July 12th. That's one day after former President Trump gets sentenced. The Justice Department is denying any collusion between Bragg, Colangelo, and the White House. Um, I spoke with uh, Senator Roger Marshall yesterday uh, in, in discussing this. Here's what he said. Watch. The DOJ is saying absolutely no. There's no coordination. Nobody met with White House counsel. Let's get an entire log of every day that this guy has spent working for Merrick Garland. I think that that's where we're going to find the evidence. So yes, we have the power to subpoena all, all of his records. I think that we'll find that the focus of his day, the focus of his life for the last 10, 15 years is to get Donald Trump. Uh, and, and I bet he's behind this concept of turning 34 misdemeanor, misdemeanors whose statues of limitation had ran out somehow trying to turn that into a felony. This is why Americans don't have faith in our government right here. Yeah. I mean, Congressman, this is an important issue because people are not sure whether or not this was a conspiracy, a coordinated effort to take down Trump. The White House is saying it wasn't. But here's the former director of national intelligence with me last week, John Ratcliffe. Watch. What happened in this case is that after Donald Trump announced he was going to run for president, Four different sets of prosecutors went to Joe Biden's White House to meet with Joe Biden's lawyers and his Department of Justice from Georgia, from New York, Letitia James, Jack Smith, shortly before he brought his indictments, and of course, Alvin Bragg, who not only met with Joe Biden, uh, Joe Biden's lawyers in the White House, he took one of Joe Biden's lawyers from the Department of Justice to have him bring this case. So, you know, all of these people in all of these jurisdictions, Maria, are proxies of the Biden White House. Congressman, isn't there a way to document this? Were there meetings or not with White House counsel? That Mr. Radcliffe got it right. That's exactly what happened. We have to backtrack now and put the pieces together. But, you know, people forget, Colangelo worked for the DNC. That's where the bright line has absolutely been ignored. Everybody knows that they were ushering him in and out of meetings that were quasi-political, trying to figure out how they could put together a four-case front to go after President Trump. So the idea that, that somehow uh, it, it was just something that DA, DOJ saw in Matt Colangelo that they thought, you know, oh, this is a good attorney that we could use. On. No, this guy worked at the DNC, and everybody in Washington knows that. That's unbelievable. President Biden, you have said, quote, Donald Trump and his MAGA Republicans are determined to destroy American democracy. Do you believe that the tens of millions of Americans who are likely to vote for President Trump will be voting against American democracy? The more they know about what he's done, yes. The more they know about what he's done. And there's a lot more coming. He's got a lot of cases down the road coming around. He's got, he's got a whole range of issues he has to face. I don't know what the juries will do, but I do, I do know he has a real problem. 